Ah, my hair. Ah, my hair. It's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. My head's done spun. I'm drinking the rest of the rum. Living life because I'm blessed and I'm young. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, so, um. We're back again. We hope you guys had a very nice Christmas. And a great New Year as well. That's it. JJ, we hope you loved your Yeezys. Mm -hmm. Because so many people messaged and asking them to and put... And the 25% off as well, luxury sauce. I actually had people asking me to put their names like 10 times. Well, you know who you are. Coming in <laughs> after the, the whole thing was done. Yeah, like, oh, what? mate. <laughs> some crazy people out here. Today is an opportunity. We're going to meet someone who runs like a fashion event with the highest and like the high-end trainers, blah, blah, blah. He's gonna show us a few bits as what a few bits to us what he um <laughs> Ah my hair. Ah my hair <laughs> Alright, sorry. Yeah, basically the guy we're meeting today, he's um him and a few other guys run that's something called the sneaker box, mm -hmm. if you're not familiar. The trainers that you have always wanted or have always wanted to see, but you've just never seen in the flesh, they're always at these events. That event where you think Okay, this is real. That's, that's when that's when you see that people kind of love their fashion. Exactly. exactly. And it's run by two Bristol boys as well. Or whatever, well that's so it. That's it. You love our challenges. You love all of that. But we're also trying to bring you stuff as well that you might not know about. Do you know what I mean? And help other people that we think deserve to be helped. Okay. What we're doing today, we're meeting up with a guy who has basically got one of the sickest collections. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> 2017 was a year of kind of... Oh, uh, a year of starting. A 2018 year of starting. is the year of making it. Supporters to keep doing what they're doing, spread the love. My parents, honestly, shout out to them because they've they've been sending it to all their friends. Mate, Mama Calloway sends know, it everywhere. And so does your pups as That's well. That's it. You lot as well, like, do you know what I mean? We've, we don't, I mean, we don't really hear much hate on it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, every, everyone, every one of you is so supportive. And even when we go out, people come up to us and say, "Look, you, we love what you're doing." Yeah, we're and it's out and that. Yeah, it just gives us a boost. And some of us, some of you, we don't even know. If it ain't positive, I don't want to hear even, it. No, so. to, yeah, to be honest, if it ain't positive, I don't want to hear it. But you can watch one of the videos anyway. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of things coming up, so if you so just, much. I know we're a bit slow for content and things, but trust me, we're picking up. It's just when we got a, you know, balance out everything. But what I'm telling you now, 2018, we ain't balancing anything. This is gonna be our full time. And we are gonna we are gonna bring you stuff that you're just gonna be like, oh, when's it out? When's it out? Do you know what I'm saying? That's but it. at the moment, stick with us because I tell you now, 2018 is the year of O'Shea and Joshua. Okay, so we're here at uh, Crush's house. We're gonna we're gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna show you exactly why we're getting gassed. I'm 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 in heaven. All right, I'm in heaven. So uh, let me just turn the camera around now. Cool. Tell the people what we're seeing right now. So when I walked in, I was just like. It's also seen the it's Instagram stuff. Yeah. Like this stuff is hard. If I was gonna tell you now, yeah. What is your favourite shoe and why in this collection? Favourite shoes. A hard um, one, isn't it? It would be wearability wise. Okay. It would be between these. Mm hmm Pirate, Pirate blacks, blacks, yeah. And then so you're um, a easy boy, yeah. 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 Comfort man. They're comfort, comfy, mate. Honestly, comfort, that's why. That's why people always say to me, like, Josh, you need to rock a new pair of shoes. But bro, they're so comfy, I can't. Tell us about sneaker box, because obviously, if you if you're a, if you're in the southwest and you love your crepes like properly, you know what you're talking about. You should know what sneaker box yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. So with sneaker box. Um, I'd been to the first two and um, I started off DJing mm -hmm. at the event. Um, I've always had a love for trainers as you can probably tell. Um, and I just got to know the guys, Yeah. got involved and um, now I'm part of the team. Me, Rich, mm -hmm. Sam, Rob, um, Scott, there's a few of us now. and. Um, we just aim to put on an event for true sneakerheads. Um, not too glitz and glam. Focus is always on the trainers. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of clothing there as well. But the main focus is always the trainers and just having a good time where yeah, you yeah. can meet other like-minded people yeah. into trainers. Maybe you find a still. Yeah, I'm going to guess that uh, these bad boys 
Am is I? your favorite yeah. right now? Yeah, how did you know? I just knew. How did you know? I had, I had, a, I had a pair of these ones, and I was just thinking about money, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna resell, resell. The worst, worst mistake I've ever made. But every time I see a pair, I just regret it. See, this every is time. Like my winter. Winter yeah, finesse. yeah, yeah. Have you been rocking them this winter? Yeah. Yeah, when it's pouring down with rain, just pull them out, finesse them one time real quick. I remember buying, I bought my my uh, my bread V2s, and it kind of, it kind of means something because I was thinking to myself, mm. I've worked hard. Do you know what I mean? And I want to yeah. buy something that I really like, and I look at them, and I think, you know what? Actually, that was something I really wanted, yeah. and I worked hard for that. And then I got a bit carried away. I got the zebras, <laughs> and I got the blue tints. But my shoe of the year, and I'm not sure if this is the same with you, but my shoe of the year. Right in my hands right now. If you tell me these aren't the most beautiful shoe of the year, then you're lying still. These, personally for me, it takes me back to like a year, I don't know, like 2012. You know, when blazers were huge. Made they were huge. Off-white dropped these with Nike. I don't need to say anything else. What they've done is they've taken a traditional sneaker, in my opinion, and just amped it up. Madison, I know you're gonna love these as well, all right? He tries to rock his blazers now. With the right people, with the right collaboration, you are gonna be able to take something that was cool five years ago and make it cool again. Yeah. If you like it, wear it. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Even with clothing, I wear it for me. Because a lot of people probably don't even know what the brand is. Mm. I mean, a lot of people are now just noticing off white. Yeah. Um, so getting people saying, oh, yeah, I've seen so and so wear it in a video, or this person wear it. Uh, so it's getting its notoriety, it's getting up there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of people don't necessarily even know what I'm wearing. This jacket will never lose my possession. I remember seeing this in the Cameron Oh Boy video. I was able to get this wholesale. Bear in mind this isn't full leather, this is only just leather patches. Mm -hmm. At the time, the wholesale price was 275. The markup is 150%. So, <laughs> God bless the store. <laughs> what we're talking about is every NBA team on this jacket. This right here, people, what he's holding in his hand, this is what you call luxury. This is what you call high end. High end. You can do what you want to do in this sort of world. If that's why it's, it's fashion. It's, it's, it's all across the world. I, I have a tendency to dress in all black, and that's just what I like doing. Hey, I've got a lot of black. Look at the, the exactly. lot of trainers with uh, exactly. black and fold and clothing. A little like, bit, you know, bright colour. This is a very nice, very nice tartan. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very nice. I like that. <laughs> See, this isn't even a big brand, mm -hmm. but. I'm a fan of Akira. If anyone's ever watched Akira, they understand the patches. I've also got the red one. Jeez. With that same That's patch nice, I like the red one. They're called um, Ori New York. I literally just seen it on Instagram. Me and O'Shea have always talked about this. It's not about the brand sometimes, you know what I mean? It's about what you like as well. And the story behind it. And the story behind it. Something that looks good, but doesn't have to be from a massive, massive brand. We've done Primark challenges, H&M challenges. If it looks good and you feel comfortable in it, then just rock it, mate. Fashion is about you. We're trying to, we're trying to tell you now that with these challenges we're doing, you can spend less and still look good. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just thinking that it just so happens that this guy looks <laughs> fly in expensive garments. It's not my fault. Remember when we had that meeting with Graham? Yeah. And he said to you, he said to us that like, you are unique. There's only one of you in the world, yeah. ever. You can't get more unique than that. You can't get more one off. Exactly. What was your uh, first pair of crepes you bought? Mellow twos. <gasps> See that? It's different from mine because mine was the uh, Air Max ones, <laughs> like <laughs> the red ones, <laughs> and like when I was trying to look cool in six four. My dad DJ'd and he used to travel to uh, Miami a lot for the okay. music conference. So when he was out there, visit outlets, pick up trainers. I remember one of my favourite pair of trainers. I don't know what the name was but they were a pair of Pumas, they're black with blue suede. The suede was like fur. I've, n I've never felt suede like that since. To me, they were fire. These, in America, they're huge. They're not hyping all the time. They're not trying to, they're not trying to be something else. They're, they're Jordans, you know what you're getting. Every big rapper, every big kind of person in America rocks yeah. these because they're just, they're Jordans. You can't not have a pair in your collection. He's got the Ultra Boost 1.0s. 
Man said they're a gym shoe now. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you wear it with the right thing as well, I've noticed this. If you wear it with the right thing, people go, yo, you look sick. I, know, I guarantee you, every single one of you watching right now has one outfit that you always go to because you know you look fly. This guy's rotation is is just mad. It's just different, mate. When did you know you wanted to kind of follow the route of fashion? Like, what made you... I've always liked looking fly, basically. When I was about 20, um, me and a friend opened a store and I was the CEO. Yeah, 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 I remember it as well. So since then I've been involved in clothing. I've always liked putting together fits, whether it be um, high street brands or it be high-end fashion brands, whether it be urban street brands. Yeah, if yeah. I like it, I buy it, I put it together. I just want to... I just like to vision and vision fits all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Constantly walking around thinking that, that, and that. Just show them how many boxes there is there as well. That's about. That's about. That's at least about twenty. Our friend Henry, right, said to me. He said. He said. This advice has stuck with me. Well, for, it will stick with me for the rest of my life. He said, "Stop trying so hard sometimes because when you stop trying, you can breathe and you don't get stressed. And people come to you naturally because you look mm. cool." You look swag, you look relaxed, you look like you're so laid back that the world don't even matter. With me, I always see opportunities to sell. Mm. That's my problem. So if I get something, limited edition, I have it in my hands and I'll just sell it on. That's my, the thing is I can't, I love the fact that I had it, but I can't physically show, do you know what I mean? I have nothing yeah. to show for it. I go for what I want. Um, and even if I have a little bit of doubt in whether I 100% want it, mm. if it's limited, I'll still go for it and go for it in my size. When it turns up, if I like it, I keep it. If I'm a bit, mm, buy yeah, it, yeah. And, and the resale value is nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna flip it and okay. put it towards something which I want more. Yeah. Don't be caught up too, too much in trends. Yeah. Um, don't feel ashamed either to like something which everyone else likes, yeah. or everyone else has got. Mm. Um, Cause I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, loads of people have got this, loads yeah. of people are gonna be wearing this. That's cool. Like I said, it's not about how much money you spend. Exactly. Swag and source comes from you. And yeah. it cannot be bought. It's actually more personal than people think. When you look at someone, you think, oh, okay, this is what they're like. And you make judgments based on how they're dressed. If they're nice to you, yeah. no one can say anything to you, you know what I mean? No one can say, I guarantee you, you meet that right person, you can still pull. In my plimsolls, you buy me every single challenge video. Yeah. <laughs> if I rock them with swag, if I rock them with confidence, That's it. They it will look matter. cool. They will they, look cool. You could go out in a pair of no name brand sliders and still finesse. That's exactly. It. It's just exactly. all about how you rock it. What's your most expensive sneaker right now, would you say? These bad boys. Okay, so Ooh. let's just you you could you could rock you could rock these. But some of you may be looking at these right now and saying, I don't like them. Does he care? No. no. Because he likes them, do you know what I mean? You can look fly in something that you like. If no. you like it, you give off that confidence, you give off that vibe. This is how you dress. If you're gonna go for an interview, if you're gonna do whatever you want to do, you're yeah. gonna dress how you wanna dress. You're not gonna tell people to employ a fake you, do you know what I mean? Exactly. That is who you are. Yeah. And if it's the right, pe it's the right person, someone will employ you because of who you are. What I'm saying to you is you can look fly every day. You don't have to spend racks on racks on racks. No. You can, but... You, could, you can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Some garments I have in my wardrobe, people are like, oh, Shay, what, what are you wearing? But then, I like it because it represents me. Mm. I mean, like this jacket here. I could tell you no one else has that. Mm. Then he'll rock it and enjoy it. Do you know what I'm saying? And someone will go, where'd you get your jacket from? Exactly. The amount of times where people's going to say, yo, you look smart. Should I tell you what? Most of my outfits are budgeted, but I just have that one piece. Mm. Yeah, one that's piece. true. And that's another thing as well. The reason these things cost so, uh, so much, or the reason these things are a little bit more high end, is quality. So, as much as I say to you, Primark t shirts are cool, yeah, they are cool, but they might fade. They might, in washes and stuff like that, they might not exactly. fit as nice. So, the reason you do pay for the more expensive stuff is because the quality is better. See, there's going to be a new kind of a sneaker box coming soon. Yeah, we'll give you all the details when that is about yeah. to come out as well. Because we'll be that. there. I'm ready to sign off, mate. I've had a great day. And, uh, from all of us here, have a great, great 2018. Happy New Year for everybody. And uh, we will see you on the other side. See you later.